Hi, I'm Stephanie Schwab, the Curriculum Supervisor for K-12 Mathematics and Science, and this is Louise Kirsch, the Elementary Math Coach. We would like to give you a brief overview of the Parent Information Nights that have been held over the past month. This school year, kindergarten through third grade, has adopted a new math curriculum based on the Pennsylvania Core Standards. These standards lay a solid foundation in whole numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fractions, and decimals. Taken together, these elements support a student's ability to learn and apply more demanding math concepts and procedures. There are now two types of standards. There are mathematical content standards and practice standards. The mathematics content standards define what students should understand and be able to do. They tell us what students need to learn. You can find information on grade-specific content skills on the district website. The mathematical practice standards describe the habits of mind required to reach a level of mathematical proficiency. They tell us how students should learn. Later in this video, we will discuss these practice standards in more detail. Because there are now practice standards, there are some shifts in instruction. The goal of math instruction is to uncover all possible ways to solve a problem while discovering what each student's thought process was for solving the problem. The mantra we are using as a guide to stay focused on these shifts is, how can we teach mathematics so students come to appreciate that it is not about computation and following rules, but about solving important and relevant quantitative problems? Louise is now going to introduce the practice standards. There are eight math practice standards that will be incorporated into daily instruction. The first standard is to make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. Students need to understand what a problem is telling them and what it is asking them to do. They formulate a plan, solve the problem, and compare their solution with the solutions of others. The second standard is reason abstractly and quantitatively. Students use both numbers and words to understand math concepts and can easily go between the two forms. The third standard is to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. Students learn to explain their thinking in various ways and find the similarities and differences between their thinking and their classmates' thinking. The fourth standard is to model with mathematics. Students see math in different contexts and apply those contexts to solve problems. The fifth standard is to use appropriate tools strategically. Students need to be able to use a variety of tools in solving problems. They also need to be able to determine which tool is the most effective for the problem that they are solving. The sixth standard is to attend to precision. Students need to not only be precise in their calculations, but also in the language they use when they explain their solutions and thinking processes. The seventh standard is to look for and make use of structure. Students are able to see how numbers and shapes relate to each other. The eighth standard is to look for and express regularity in repeated reasoning. Students are able to use patterns to help them apply what they have learned to new situations. Use of these practice standards promotes the learning of the content standards. Successful math understanding comes from the use of both the content and practice standards. Thank you, Louise, for explaining the practice standards, and thank you for taking the time to view this video. We encourage you to explore the other resources for elementary math on the district website. You will find a tutorial video on how to use the online resources through Think Central. If you have any questions, please contact your child's classroom teacher or myself at schwabsa at npen.org or 215-853-1048. Thank you for your time.